became interested in this when having my own baby, so back in 2005 now, I was completely naive to what babies were like and how you fed them, and I thought it was really straightforward. You chose whether to breastfeed, you chose whether to bottle feed. But I found so many women that I met who, when I went to different baby groups or met them uh, for coffee, made new friends, so many women were having problems breastfeeding and it got me thinking what on earth is going on in the UK? It just became my complete fascination and it just turned into the last, gosh, 14, 15 years of research now. So I realised we kind of had this knowledge gap in the UK that we didn't really know what babies were like. We didn't know what was normal for them and we often thought that it should be fixed when actually it was just babies communicating what they needed and babies needing to feed frequently because they have really tiny tummies. So I set about really trying to kind of bust those myths and do the research that would show mums that actually waking at night is normal and that they may be feeding at night and feeding frequently is normal and that it was perfectly normal and positive thing to do to cuddle your baby and pick them up whenever they needed you. The impact that the research has had has just been phenomenal for us. I mean, to me, it's the point of doing research. It's the point of being an academic now. So the, the human aspect of it, the human element and the impact that we've had all around the world has just, well, it keeps me going. It's what we do. <laughs>